the shots they're taking? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. No, no I, I don't think so. I mean, there's always going to be uh, there's always going to be some risk reward at the rim. You know, when you drive to the rim, we're missing open shots. Now, some is is is, is we again. It's like uh, I I say a lot. You know, it's not taking a bad shot. It's taking a good shot badly. You know, sometimes you fade. Sometimes you don't get your foot into it. All the technical parts of the shot. It, it it's it's very easy to point that out. And so it's easier to point it out. Harder to remember when you're shooting it. But we've missed we've missed some open shots. And and. Uh, uh, we could probably do a little bit less off the dribble. I think that would help us and that in answer to your question You know and be ready to shoot the ball rather than put it down on the ground a couple of times But uh, to me that that's um, yeah, I mean you don't want to lose the confidence in that Jordan mentioned the team might have more of an edge heading into the tournament. Have you kind of noticed that? These yeah, I hope so. I mean, I hope so. I mean it, it uh, I think we have good edge I, I thought we had it yesterday, but I thought we had it going into South Carolina, too So I mean we've had really good practices the last few weeks, so that's what he thinks. That's a good thing. Does the fact that the game again is against Missouri team, y'all probably played y'all worse. Does that in some way help you think the preparation? Um, want, to, want to avenge that, so to speak. Well, there should be no trouble getting anybody's attention, mm -hmm. right? But I don't. But I don't sense that. Anyways, there there's things that we that they guarded us differently, right? And and there were just guys that they did not guard in the game. And so our job now is to make them that many more adjustments without overthinking it, but make the adjustments that we've got to make because obviously that worked well for them. And, um, and um, they, they, they took chances on guys not being able to make plays and, and, and they were right. So we've got to do a much better job uh, of dealing with that and, and how we move and make some adjustments and I'm sure they will too. Do you have any uh, memories from conference tournaments in your career as a head coach? That yeah, I'm out? sure of it. I don't, it, nothing. yeah, nothing that really stands out right now. In a tournament setting, do you think your team might embrace the underdog mentality a little bit more? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I just hope we go in there and play well. What did he gain this year? What did he what? What did he gain? Did you see uh, I think he's learning what this game, the college game, is all about, the speed of it. I mean, this is. It's a whole different level of speed when you get to college, and um, he needs to play faster. He needs to play even more aggressive, but he needs to play faster. And and. Um, whether it's cutting, whether it's, it's, it's getting to the glass. When he's done those things, he's been, been pretty successful, but everybody goes through that. Everybody goes through the speed of the game. You know, there's the physicality of it, there's the, the pace of it. Pace and speed are two different things because, because the pace of the game is one thing, and that's conditioning to a degree, but the speed of the game is how quick you have to play, your reaction time, how your short space quickness, uh, your burst, you know, those type of things. And, and that, that's the thing that I hope he's gained that's going to really help him for the future with that because he's really improved his skill level and um, he really wants to do well. And I think it's just a matter of understanding like, okay, this is different and this is how I've got to embrace it to make myself better. And I think all freshmen, again, go through that. But him in particular, once that speed of the game, once he learns how to play quicker, faster, more burst, things like that at this level, right? And they understand, well, wait a minute, all those things that I was doing, before that was had a lot of success with, it's, it's not as easy here. And once you learn to make that adjustment, and I think an off season of training is really gonna help him a ton with that too. But I say that knowing that we've gotta have him to, I mean, he's gotta play well for us this weekend, or this week too, going into this tournament. How big a part of the legacy for these seniors? I mean, obviously their senior day isn't one that they're gonna wanna remember. Sure. I mean, they, they beat Texas, they never lost to Georgia Tech. You, you played some NCAA tournament teams close, but what role does this SEC tournament play in the legacy of these outcomes? I don't know. Uh, you know, I uh, hopefully they go out. Hopefully they go out because I haven't really thought in that those terms. But hopefully they go out and they can look back at it and there is absolutely zero regret. Okay, when they're done, and zero regret ten years from now, right? Like that's the biggest thing. Did you leave everything that you had out there? Because there's been many, many a days that that's how they've played. They've worked hard to do that. There's been some days they haven't, but there's been a lot of days that they've tried to do that. So hopefully, you know, when you realize that the, the, the end is near, there's an extra jolt that can either drive you forward or it can paralyze you. You know, it can, it can, it can, it can stifle you. And you don't want that to happen. You want them to be on a full tilt, doing what the team needs, doing what needs to be done to be successful. But that little bit of edge that he's talking about, that, that's, it comes from everybody, but your seniors are going to drive that edge too, for even more than anybody else.
What's the plan in the next 36 hours? You have a, a practice in Nashville? Yeah, we, we'll have. We'll, we'll practice uh, hopefully uh, sharp and concise here and then get in there and get on the court and then uh, walk through tomorrow morning. I believe it's in Vanderbilt, or late morning, early afternoon, and then play the game. So with meetings and film and stuff like that sprinkled in. Any questions? Have you, been, have you played any of your teams played in this venue before? Vanderbilt? I've never played. I, I, was, I was saying this last time on the radio show. I don't think I've ever coached in Nashville. <laughs> so been to Nashville, lived near Nashville when I was in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But I, I may look back on it, but I was thinking about this. I don't think I've ever coached there so in the city. So it'll be it'll be different. You like country music, though, don't you? I like a lot of music. Oh, I like you? yeah, I like country music. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I thought I heard you say that. Yeah, I like country music, definitely. So. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.